Hey guys, my name's Wynn. I make videos on how to style curly hair and just general curly hair knowledge. Um, today I'm going to be talking a bit about how to trim your edges, so that's your sideburns and your neck. Um, I find, especially if you're growing your hair out, um, knowing how to care for these two areas can, can really make a huge difference in uh, your hair looking clean and kempt, so to speak. Um, so, uh, if you'd like to see that, uh, continue watching. Alright, so for this, you're going to need a couple of things. Um, I like to have a bandana or something that will hold all your hair back really, really well because you don't want hair getting when you cut your neck here. Um, and then I also like to use these um, Andes uh, T outliner clippers. Um, these are really good for getting a really clean line and they won't fail you, they always tend to work. Um, and that's pretty much going to be it. And a lot of patience. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit worried about doing this today actually because usually I will get very very close to a mirror just to make sure I don't mess anything up. But for you guys I think this would be helpful so I am willing to risk it. <laughs> Alright, so first things first you're going to need to put all your hair back. So again I like to use a bandana. and kind of do it the same way that I did a tutorial on a few a while ago. If you'd like to see it, it'll be here. Um, but this is really just to hold everything back. I'll tuck the ends in so we're not looking crazy. And the thing that really matters here is um, you wanna make sure, so I'm actually gonna clip all this back as well because I don't need it to be so some kind of clip would be good to have. All right. So uh, let's start with the sideburns first. I think that'll be the easiest. Um, the way I typically do that is take a comb. It doesn't have to be a rat tail comb like this, just some kind of comb. Um, and so. All right, let me, let me start by saying, um, if you're growing your hair out um, and you're gonna be doing this yourself, uh, it's really important in the beginning to set some like really clear guidelines so when you're doing it in the future, uh, you're not going to be trimming up further and further into your hair. Um, if you've ever seen somebody with their neck like really trimmed up, I mean, some people do that on purpose, but um, I don't really like that look, so I like to keep the line uh, the same place every time. Um, the way I determined the lines on my ears was um, by going from the top of my ear um, kind of to the side of where my eyebrow is. Um, and then you just kind of make a straight line from there and then brush all the hair down um, that is below that line. So, let me do that now. And at this point my hair is long enough that it's been cut like this a few times. So I just kind of like grab like with the side of the comb um, all the hairs that are too short to uh, be kind of pulled back. So the first thing you're going to do is once you have that sectioned out is brush it all towards your eye. All right, so it's going to look like something like that. Then um, you're going to take some scissors and you should see kind of a line like where your sideburn is. You're gonna go, let me see if I can go this way. So you're gonna go straight up, clipping everything that you come into contact with. Brush it away. Make sure you get everything. And then once you got all that, then you're gonna brush it back. And then there should be some kind of sticking out. Just go on the line that kind of naturally forms with the scissors. 
there you have it. Um, so you can probably see this is one that's been done, one that hasn't. This one's a lot bushier. Uh, this one kind of blends a bit better with my beard line and I think it's a better look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one on time-lapse just to save you guys some time. Um, so bear with me here. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's how to trim your sideburns. Um, just kind of make sure you have a really clear line. Um, that way you don't keep uh, going up into your hairline, especially if you're growing your hair out. And now for the part that I'm a little scared about, and that is my neck. Now, the only reason I say I'm scared about it is just because um, usually I'll get like really close to a mirror and that's pretty hard to do when I'm filming. Um, so we'll give it a shot, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and, um, all right guys, so I went ahead and did one of the sides of my neck, but let me walk through and show you how um, I choose the line for where to cut. So basically, let me grab this mirror and this comb. Um, your hair has a natural place where it will grow. Um, so like you can see mine's kind of brushed already, but um, if, you, if you brush down, um, mine's a little bit more defined because I have kind of maintained it at this point, but let's just say I had it. Um, you'd kind of want to look like, if you kind of look here, you see my hair just has a sort of natural line that goes here um, to here. And mine's a little bit different. Um, well, you can see when I relax that there's this line kind of from here to this point here. And if you look at the side that's already been done, you can see how that would match up. So sometimes determining that line is a little difficult, but I would suggest, and everybody's hairline is a little bit different. Like I have a really thick um, bit of hair right there, but most people I think may not. Um, but just determine a line, stick with it. That way you won't be cutting up into your hair every time you uh, shave your neck. All right, so basically the way I do this, and it's a little difficult because you're looking into a mirror backwards into another mirror, but with a little practice, I'm sure you can do it. Um, you're gonna want to brush down very lightly, um, and that just kind of gets all the short hairs away from the long hair. And you're lucky because you know this bandana is sort of holding everything back. Um, and then you're gonna take your Andes T outliner, make sure you have enough cord and then holding the mirror and looking into another mirror you're going to want to very carefully um, start edging up into this line right here um, so you can watch while I do that So that's pretty close. Um, I can get, there's a little piece right here that I want to get closer to, but I need to be a little bit closer to a mirror. Um, so I'm going to go fix that real quick and then I will be back to show you guys how it looked. So I went ahead and cleaned up my neck. So I'm going to turn around so you guys can see. As uh, so you can see, you got like a really clean point here. When you wear it up, it looks nice. I like to add a little bit in and just kind of leave this point here on the bottom. Um, but that is how you do it. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, if you have any questions or want to know how to do anything in the future, leave me some notes in the comments below. Um, I also will put in my Instagram 
down below. But if you want to follow me, it's datwin, D-A-T dot W-I-N. Um, and I post a lot of stories and um, pictures on hairstyles and uh, would love for you guys to follow me. Uh, so thank you so much. Hope everyone has a great day. Um, and until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.